Hi, I'm Jen Gallagher, and today we're going to make a gift box topper. I'm actually going to be making this charming little bow, which you can find in our Silhouette Design Store. I have chosen an 85 pound cardstock weight. I have selected two different colors. I've done a dark color and a light color of yellow. You can use whatever colors you want. And I've cut it on my Cameo for using my studio software. So super easy project to put together. What we're going to use is a small gift box. You can find these in a, any gift shop place. And it's just a little jewelry box. You'll want to put your gift inside. And then we're going to go ahead and create the bow. So the bow comes in a couple of different pieces. The first piece is this little scalloped piece as the piece is cut out. And this is your background piece. Again, I picked a dark color for this particular bow. The next piece is this lovely yellow piece, and it looks interesting, it almost looks like eyeglasses. Now how this works is you're going to fold this part over without creasing this piece. And I'm using a glue gun today. You could use whatever adhesive you like, as long as it just holds it in place. I like a glue gun when I'm doing something like a gift box topper. Then you're going to do the same thing with the other side, little bit of glue in the center. Fold it over, connect it, and then you're going to glue this piece right onto that darker piece, right in the center. And the nice thing is the cup file is designed so it's very easy to kind of put it together almost like a puzzle. The third piece is this intricate design and when you cut it, it's going to cut out these middle pieces. So when you remove it from the mat, do be careful as you pull out those pieces. Just a little glue on the back. And this is going to go in the center of our bow. You can see by using contrasting cardstock, it just stands out a little bit more. The final piece is a strip here and it's perforated so that I can easily wrap it around my bow, little glue in the center, wrap it around the back, little bit of glue in the back to hold it, and then some glue for the other piece. So there you have this charming bow. Now to put it on the gift box, I thought it would be fun to add a little wraparound band. So I have a half inch by six inch strip of cardstock in the same dark yellow, and there are two of them. And I'm going to attach them with some glue, and then we can easily wrap them around the box. Wrap them around to the back side, and adhere them. Again, the glue gun just comes in really, really handy. Trim off any excess. Wrap the other side around, making sure that the lines are aligned. A little bit of glue again. Again, be careful, don't burn your fingers. Trim off any excess that you have. And I like to crease the sides a little bit, it just makes it a little bit more sharp. And then just to finish it off, all you have to do is add a little glue to the bow. And I thought it'd be cute to put the bow on a diagonal for this box. So there you have a very cute scalloped bow made easily with my Cameo 4 machine. For more inspiration and to download these shapes, be sure to visit silhouetteamerica.com.